If we will welcome to Coral Evensong coming live from Grimsby Minster this evening. A warm welcome to those in the building and also to those joining us online, whether live now or as a recording in the future. We continue the office with hymn 249, Round Me Falls the Night, followed by verses from Psalm 119.
first reading is taken from Exodus chapter 18, verses 13 to 26. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood by Moses from the morning unto the evening. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the people? Why sittest thou thyself alone, and all the people stand by thee from morning unto even? And Moses said unto his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of God. When they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one another. And I do make them know the statutes of God and his laws. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt surely wear away both thou and this people that is with thee. For this is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel, and God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to Godward, that thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shalt show them the way wherein they must walk, and the work that they must do. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands, and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee, but every small matter they shall judge. So shall it be easier for thyself, and they shall bear the burden with thee. If thou shalt do this thing, and God command thee so, then thou shalt be able to endure, and all this people shall also go to their place in peace. So Moses hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. And Moses chose able men out of all Israel, and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And they judged the people at all seasons, the hard causes they brought unto Moses, but every small matter they judged themselves. Here ends the first lesson.
The second reading is taken from Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 to 14. Judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy father's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? For how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Here ends the second lesson.
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits upon the right hand of God.
This evening's anthem sets words from the Office of Compline to music by Sir Edward Bairstow, written for the Wigan and District Choral Association in Lancashire. Save us, O Lord, wake me. Let us pray. O 
Across the diocese and parish today, we're praying for highways. We pray for all at North East Lincolnshire Council, responsible for the maintenance, upkeep and cleaning of the roads across our parish and town, as well as the Highways Agency, and all who work for them in doing the same for some of the major malls in our area. We ask that all road users may do so safely and with consideration for others. Grant that your church, O oh God, here and in every place, may offer a living worship to you in your glory and a living witness to the world in its need. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. We continue to keep the season of creation. We give thanks for the wonders of God's creation and that we may be worthy stewards of this. O oh God, you fashioned us to live in harmony with the world you have made. Deepen our respect for the gift of your creation, that working with the earth in ways that are sustainable, we may provide enough to feed all the peoples of this planet, now and for generations to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we prepare to celebrate the feast of St. John Chrysostom, 5th century Bishop of Constantinople, teacher of the faith, tomorrow, we pray his prayer. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and does promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Lord God, source of all beauty and harmony, we praise you for the gift of music, for the inspiration given to those who compose it, for the skill and devotion of those who perform it, for the faculties and powers which enable us to enjoy it. And we pray that as by this gift our lives are enriched and renewed, so may we glorify you in a fuller dedication of ourselves. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a prayer of Saint Benedict. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.
Our church's ministry and mission has never been more needed. Meeting online or in church for prayer services and fellowship, loving our neighbours by offering practical support to the vulnerable, and caring for our communities. The work of our church is reliant on people's generosity and we are so grateful for all the gifts we receive. This generosity is a hallmark of a lived out faith and a testament to it. If you are able to give to us now, here's how you can help.